But I don't need to be constrained about the emotions that tragedies like this raise. I've had to make statements like this too many times. Communities like this have had to endure tragedies like this too many times. We don't have all the facts, but we do know that, once again, innocent people were killed in part because someone who wanted to inflict harm had no trouble getting their hands on a gun. Uh, we received news uh, yesterday of an extraordinary tragedy uh, back in the United States where a lone gunman uh, killed and injured multiple people. Uh, my administration is in communications with law enforcement officials, uh, federal, state, and local. Uh, we are monitoring the investigation. I am heartbroken uh, for the families uh, who survived this tragedy. There has been a tragic shooting at the Fort Hood Army Base in Texas. Uh, we don't yet know all the details at this moment. Uh, we will share them as we get them. Uh, what we do know is that uh, a number of American soldiers have been killed and even more have been wounded in a horrific outburst of violence. Uh, that is why this is more than a tragedy for those involved. It is a tragedy for Arizona and a tragedy for our entire country. What Americans do at times of tragedy is to come together and support each other. So at this time, I ask all Americans to join me and Michelle in keeping all the victims and their families, uh, including Gabby, in our thoughts and prayers. Our hearts are broken by their sudden passing. Our hearts are broken. And yet, our hearts also have reason for fullness. Our hearts are full of hope and thanks for the 13 Americans who survived the shooting, including the Congresswoman many of them went to see on Saturday. By now, many of you know, uh, many of you have heard that uh, a few miles outside of Denver, uh, in a town called Aurora, uh, at least 12 people were killed when a gunman opened fire in a movie theater. And dozens more are being treated for injuries at a local hospital. Uh, some of the victims are being treated at a children's hospital. The people we lost in Aurora loved and were loved. There were mothers and fathers, husbands and wives, sisters and brothers, sons and daughters, friends and neighbors. They had hopes for the future and dreams that were not yet fulfilled. And if there's anything to take away from this tragedy, it's a reminder that life is fragile. Our time here is limited, and it is precious. Three years ago in our state of Wisconsin, back in the United States, a man went into a Sikh temple and in a terrible act of violence killed six innocent people, Americans and Indians. And in that moment of shared grief, our two countries reaffirmed a basic truth, as we must again today, that every person has the right to practice their faith how they choose, or to practice no faith at all, and to do so free of persecution and fear and discrimination. This evening, Michelle and I will do what I know every parent in America will do, which is hug our children a little tighter and we'll tell them that we love them, and we'll remind each other how deeply we love one another. But there are families in Connecticut who cannot do that tonight, and they need all of us right now. In the hard days to come, that community needs us to be at our best as Americans, and I will do everything in my power as president to help. Uh, we are confronting uh, yet another mass shooting, and today it happened on a military installation in our nation's capital. Uh, it's a shooting that targeted our military and civilian personnel. These are men and women uh, who were going to work, doing their job, uh, protecting all of us. They're patriots, and they know the dangers of serving abroad, uh, but today they face the unimaginable violence uh, that they wouldn't have expected here at home. 
Part of what makes this so painful is that we've been here before. This tragedy tears at wounds still raw from five years ago. Once more, soldiers who survived foreign war zones were struck down here at home, where they're supposed to be safe. The biggest frustration so far is the fact that uh, this society has not been willing to take some basic steps to, uh, to keep guns out of the hands of uh, you know, people who you know, can, uh, can do just unbelievable damage. We're, we're, the only society, we're, we're the only developed country on earth where this happens. And it happens now once a week. And it, it's a one-day story. There's no place else like this.